Hello and welcome on this lesson on Hess's cycle. So the first thing that we've got to know is that in a reaction, sometimes it is not possible to measure the reaction rate directly. So let's say we've got um, methane and we wanted to combust it, we wanted to react it with oxygen. Sometimes it might not happen, sometimes we might not find out how much energy has been given off. The reason why is that the reaction, the activation energy might be far too high for us to make it a suitable environment to increase um, the temperature and such like. Uh, the reaction might just be far too slow for it to be viable in industry or um, more than wrong reaction might be taking place. So what we can do, we can do it indirectly, just because of this dude over here, and his name is Germain Hess. And his law states that if a reaction can take place by more than one route, the total energy change will be the same for whatever route you take. So let's put this into practice. So basically, say for example, from London to Newcastle, it took you 100 kilojoules of energy. It's not going to take it that much, it's going to take you far much more, but let's just say for example, Hess is saying that even if we took a detour to Manchester, then to Newcastle, the total change is exactly the same as if we took this direct route from London to Newcastle. So let's say that this was 50,000 kilojoules, and let's say that this was 50,000 Oops, kilojoules. As you can see, if we took this route, it would end up being minus 100,000 kilojoules. And as you can see, it's exactly the same as that. Now let's put this into a chemical practice. So let's say we have the reagents and we have the products. And we know how much energy is needed to form the reagents from its constituent elements. And we know how much energy is needed to form the products from its elements. Okay, this is what we call Hess's cycle for the delta H of formation under standard conditions, obviously. So, let's say that this took minus 500 kilojoules of energy. And we know that for the elements to go to the reagents, that would take plus 250 kilojoules of energy and for us to go from the elements to its products that would take minus 250 kilojoules i'm making these numbers up by the way seeing as we can't take the first route from reagents to products just mainly because we can go through this route like this we could take a little detour like so now, we can take the numbers from each one of these, but seeing as the energy that was needed to go from elements to reagents was a positive, for it to go from reagents to elements would be a negative, and that would be 250 kilojoules of energy. Over here, seeing as we're going in the right direction anyway, it will be minus 250 kilojoules of energy as well, and that would equal to make minus 500 kilojoules. And as you can see, this direction, this route, took exactly the same energy as if we took the top route. Same thing with combustion. If we know how much energy was released when we burnt the reagents to make the combustion products, and we know how much energy was needed to combust the products into combustion products, we can find out what the energy change from the reagents to the products actually is by going through this route over here so let's say for example um the overall energy change was minus 760 i shouldn't have picked that i can't think of two numbers anyways so if the combustion products that took um, minus 700 kilojoules again unrealistic and the this one took minus 60 kilojoules of energy actually that's that 
still won't work because that number's a bit wrong. All right, I've just changed this to minus 800 and this uh, would be minus 40 kilojoules of energy that we needed. Now, if we went through this route, we know that it would take 800 kilojoules of energy to get to, to the combustion product and it will take the opposite of minus 40 to get to the product because we're going the opposite way of what the arrow tells us. So that's going to be plus 40. And this is going to be minus 800. Minus 800 plus 40 makes minus 760 kilojoules. And that is it for this session.